Okay, hi you fillings. Um, we're going to look at um, loci of um, complex numbers using rectangular coordinates. Um, and just before we do, I, I'll draw your attention to um, some of the, out the formula that we have. First of all, um, complex numbers that we describe them as um, that z equals x plus i y, um, where I, the i y part is our imaginary part and x is our real part. Um, and then also we have this um, formula down here, uh, and that's called the modulus. Um, now, I've gone a little bit into the modulus um, here, uh, and we've talked about it here, but just worth keeping in mind that your f um, formula sheet has it as well, so you can always look it up there too. Okay, so we'll look at some examples here, and this question here is asking us to draw the, comp the locus of complex numbers given by two parts in the real and one part in the imaginary equals four. So we should really say that um, what that's saying is draw the locus of 2x plus i equals four. Okay, now um, if we're thinking of this in terms of, um, you know, um, I, should really, I should really write um, y there because y represents the imaginary part. So what you've, you'll quickly notice here is that we've got an algebraic expression and um, if I write that in terms of y, we have y equals negative 2x um, plus 4, which is simply an equation. And so that's what this locus is in this case. It's an equation um, that is represented by that there. So I'll draw up a set of um, axes using my trusty ruler. So there's our y-axis. So x and y, although in this case we're really talking about um, imaginary, so real and um, imaginary. So I'll put a capital R there, real and imaginary. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 1, 2, negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. And uh, for um, this one, um, its y-intercept is positive 4, and its gradient is negative 2. And so if we join that line up, that there represents four points um, fulfilling that property. So we'll just label that accordingly. So that's equivalent to um, two real parts plus one imaginary part um, being equal to four. Okay, so when we're talking about locus, we're often um, thinking in terms of um, graphs, I suppose. Okay, let's go back to our old pen. All right, so with this next example here, you notice that we've got that modulus um, uh, symbol there, and so what we just need to remind ourselves what that means. So um, when we've got modulus of z, that's equal to x um, squared plus y squared, all square rooted. So in this case, we could write it if we wanted as um, x squared plus y squared um, square rooted uh, equals 5. Okay, so that's the same as saying um, x squared plus y squared equals 25. And you should recognise this as an equation for a circle. And so we'll draw up some axes for this. Um, maybe here, I think. Here's my y axis, my x axis. and y, but I should be writing it in terms of real and imaginary. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so I'll just get a different colour here so that we're nice and uh, clear in what we're drawing. Okay, so um, this circle here has a radius of 5. Um, and since there's no transformation with x and y, we can simply 
um, have its centre as 0, 0 and its outside a radius from there. So from here, like it was with um, coordinate geometry, it's Okay, so you're just sketching in the circle as carefully as you can. I'm sure mine's going to be less than perfect, but you've just got to try and sketch it as close to a circle as possible. So there we go, um, and it's worth just labelling that. So that's the representative of the locus of points with the modulus um, is simply 5. So any point on this diameter represents a, a number that has a modulus of 5. Um, so where um, it's simply that um, z value. Okay, so this next one's asking us to draw the locus at this point. So you're probably getting the idea that this is going to be a circle as well. Um, but what we're going to do here is um, just remember that z equals x plus i y. I'll also go back to my trusty blue pen. Um, and so we can substitute that directly into here instead of z. And so Writing that out again, we're actually looking at the modulus of um, x plus i y minus 5 plus 3i equals 4. So I'm going to get real with real and imaginary with ima imaginary. And so my x and minus 5 parts are real. And um, I've got um, y plus 3 for my imaginary part. And that's equal to 4. And so we're just going to skip a step here and go straight to saying that x minus 5 squared plus y plus 3 squared is equal to 16. Okay, and you should recognise this as a circle as well, where um, the radius is going to be 4, and um, these coordinates give us the coordinates of the centre. So it's going to be at positive 5 and negative 3 on the y-axis. So in fact, I might even see if I can steal this set of axes here. Uh, maybe not. Go this way. So let's steal that and copy it. Save a bit of time. Okay, so that's negative uh, 6 there, and no, right. Um, so our centre is at um, positive 5 and negative 3, so that's there, and the radius is 4, so from that point we we'll make a radius both sides of 4. Okay, and we'll just label it as um, z minus 5 plus 3i equals 4. Okay. Alright, so our last one here we've got um, modulus on both sides. And so once again we'll group the real and imaginary parts together. So we'll write this as modulus of x plus 3 um, minus so plus y minus 2i is equal to x minus 4 um, plus um, y plus 1i. And we'll just 
square, um, we'll, we'll use the definition of modulus on both sides. So that gives us x plus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals x minus 4 squared plus y plus 1 squared. So we actually have to expand these um, and get the equivalent on both sides. And so this gives us x squared plus um, 6x plus 9 plus y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus y squared plus 2y plus 1. So you can see our x squareds cancel out as do our y squareds and um, we can simplify, let's uh, add 4y to both sides and we'll add 8x uh, to both sides and so that leaves us with uh, 8x um, plus 13 equals um, 4y plus 17 uh, let's subtract 17 from both sides and so we've got 4y equals 8x minus 4 divide through by 4, so we've got y equals 2x minus 1. And so that's left us with a nice um, straight line there. So, that, so the question is asking us to draw the locus, so we still need to do that. So let's see if our axis will come up if I paste it. Beautiful, there it is. And then flip that, move it a little bit closer to home. Um, and so we'll also give it a nice colour to make it stand out and look pretty. There we go, that will do. Okay, so it's uh, got an x intercept at negative 1 and then a gradient of 2. And we've got enough points there. So we will draw that in as carefully as we can. That's representing the modulus of z plus 3 minus 2i. And that's equal to z minus 4 plus i. So with all of these, the key really is to um, identify that we're asking you um, about a modulus, which is this thing here, and um, identifying that formula of the modulus, and then using that formula to come up with an equation that you're already familiar with and able to draw. Okay, so once you've um, got all that, you can go to 11.15 and uh, yeah, have a go. Thank you.